Hello, my name is Sarah, and this is my YouTube channel, Sarah Speaks Up, where I talk about uncomfortable things, because when you bring darkness into the light and expose it, it loses its power. So that's what I'm doing, and I'm sticking with it. So spirit of lust, one of the biggest issues we struggle with. I would say it's been in my life for the entirety of my life, even when I was a little, little, little girl. And it's shown up in different ways. It's come and gone. And it was the most magnified and intense within the last five years of my life. I would obsess over sex. I did not believe in monogamy and thought to myself, I will never be monogamous. And I would think about it during work and it just became a constant craving for me. I would say I would relate sex as a drug for me. And I would often wonder, am I an nymphomaniac or am I just, do I have a very high sex drive? And I would go with the sex drive in my mind. I would be like, I just, I'm a healthy woman. That's all. So, no, I've been in bondage to lust for a long time. And I came back to Christ last September. And as he gave me new eyes, new ears, new mind, new heart, I was dying to my flesh and realizing, wow, I'm going to be celibate now. <laughs> and it was like, it was a shocker for me, but I accepted this. And this past January, I stayed home from work because I was sick and I stayed home for a week and I said to myself this is the perfect time for me to do fasting and prayer and really draw closer to God and when you do things like that and you're by yourself be prepared for God to reveal something to you you know when you get that close and you get serious and I didn't have any, wasn't watching TV or social media, but I kept having extremely vivid, lifelike, explicit dreams. And I remember telling my mom, like, this is really weird. I mean, I've had dreams like that before, but these dreams were so real. I would wake up and still feel like I'm in the dream. And this happened three nights in a row. And I knew God was trying to tell me something. And what was he trying to tell me? I had a spirit of lust attached to me that I needed, I needed deliverance from. So when I went to church Sunday, I love that they have people at the altar to pray with you after the service. And I went up. By the way, this is Mike Signorelli's church, V1. I'm so grateful that this is only 15 minutes from where I am. Because this church believes in deliverance. And the lady prayed over me and I was just sobbing so hard that my chest hurt. And I felt so relieved after that. So, yes, a lot of us have the spirit of lust. And I haven't had any dreams like that after she prayed over me and 
I've been praying over myself too. You know, here is some tips because Satan is always lurking. He knows our weaknesses and we can't live in fear because God is more powerful, but we need to be aware that he's ready to attack us when we're weak. And there's a lot of times where I feel kind of weak. I'm a human. So there's obvious things we can do, like blocking our gateways, which is our eyes. This is self-control, self-discipline. And we could pray for that. Uh, Christianity and self-discipline go hand in hand. So, I also want to say that we need to take our spiritual supplements every day. That is my biggest advice. If you struggle with lust, with anything, anything, you have to take, like I take my supplements every day for my health. You need to take spiritual supplements every day. That is prayer. That is getting into the word somehow, even if it's just for a few minutes, even if it's through a devotional, it's just, it's food for our soul. It's nutrition for our soul. And putting on worship music when you can, just having God in your mind as much as you can whether that's on your lunch break, whether you have to sacrifice sleep and get up early, whatever it is, you can find a way. And just as much as you take supplements, there are things that can leech God out of you. For example, if you're filling your time with worldly things, it's going to make you more susceptible to slipping. And yeah, you have to protect your eyes, your ears so much. It is a struggle to have this flesh carcass and all the temptations that come with it. But in reality, we are more than conquerors through Christ and we can do all things through him. So if you struggle, great. That's an opportunity for you to be needy for God and to call out to him. Jesus, I'm struggling right now. Jesus, I'm getting lazy right now. Help me, give me the strength. Lord God, I'm craving a drink right now and I don't wanna give in. You've delivered me from that. Please take this craving off of my mind. You, you call out to him. He's our father. He's always listening. We have the Holy Spirit. We have God with us all the time to help us because God knows that we struggle. He created us. He knows everything. So that's my, my word of advice is uh, let struggle be an opportunity for building character growing and sometimes we don't know that there's something attached to us whether that's I mean I call it a spirit of lust some people might call it demonic oppression it sounds scarier that way but uh whatever it is it is and it needs to be removed and don't be hesitant to have someone pray over you as much as you can pray yourself, it is very powerful when you have another believer pray over you and lay hands on you. Ugh. Don't underestimate that. And that's it. Keep fighting the good fight, my friends. And if anyone else has struggled with this, please comment below um, how you've handled it, how you've taken steps to overcome it I would really love to know and I love conversing with people so all right 
have a blessed day.